things about this video. One, this morning I saw Motherland Mugu's reel. And I was like, oh, this is nice. Let's do a video like this. She's like, yeah, I'll ask you questions. But two, earlier in the year, she and Tito and Treasure, my team, said, oh my God, peace, people like you. You should talk more about yourself. So we're here about to do 10 questions of whatever she's going to ask me that I'm going to answer in hopes that you would learn a bit more about me. Hey folks, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is PC Timmy. I'm a multifaceted creator, a marketing professional, and a teacher. And I'm passionate about growing people and growing businesses. See, the goal is that anybody who comes across me or any piece of my content is inspired and or motivated to get better in your business, in your career, and in your life. As you watch this video, like and comment and share to your friends and family if you like it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Enjoy this video, and I'll see you. Peace. Anyway guys, this is another video um, and yeah, I'm just going to talk about myself. I'm excited to talk about my shirt. I hope you just asked me about this hoodie because there's a story behind it and it really makes me feel good wearing it. Anyway, stay and watch this video to the end. Ha! Wow. What's my full name? My names are... <laughs> my name is Egwalome. Peace, Sandra Joy, Itimi. There's also Ikim Cho and Samantha somewhere in there. But what's on my birth certificate is a girl of my peace, Sanja Joy, J O I E. It's me. Shall I tell you guys the meanings? A girl of my means my heart desire. That's from my dad. Um, peace is from my granddad on my mom's side, who said, This child in your belly to my mom is going to bring peace to the family. And at that time, apparently, he didn't, my mom didn't know whether I was going to be a boy or a girl. But yeah, my granddad named me peace. Sandra is from my grandmom, from my mom's side, um, and then Joy is from my brother. But apparently, I can't remember who in the family felt like all the Nollywood stars that used to watch at that time that were named Sandra, that their characters were bad. So they didn't really like Sandra, so my mother decided to add Sandra and Joy together. So there's Sandra, apostrophe, Joy. And at some point in school, I changed the spelling from J-O-Y because to so J-O-I-E, so Sandra Joy. And it came true is the Ibanke version of Egolome. I'm Isoko. My mom is, my dad is Ibanke, is Isoko. My mom is from Ibanke. So it came true is, has the same meaning, my heart desire as Egolo. And Samantha is a name that came somewhere when I was in secondary school because I liked Sam as a short film. So those are my names. So if you see Jobsy anywhere on the internet, it's J O for Joy, P for Peace, E for Egolo, S for Sandra. I for it to me. Yeah, lovely names. I'm 27. It shocks me. There was a time in my life where I used to always be the youngest in the room. Now, <laughs> I'm one of the oldest. Like, <laughs> it shocks me. I'm this close to 30 and I haven't figured out my life yet. I'm 27. That's the answer to the question. I'm 27. I'm 27. Two seven. I'm not. I'm not even in the middle anymore. I'm not 25. I mean, I'm now in the middle between 25 and 30. <laughs> Wow. <sighs> I'm 27. Ah, a lot of things. So I, I could link, I could read out my entire LinkedIn bio right now. I wrote it, we wrote it recently. I feel like it has a really good summary of who I am. Um, but the first paragraph talks about me being a marketing leader. Um, so I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I always thought out when people ask me, what do you do? Because I do a lot of things. <laughs> So it's hard to identify as one thing. Um, full time, nine to five, I have a career in marketing. I'm currently director of my company, director of marketing in my company. Um, I'm also a creator, so I make YouTube videos like this. Um, I talk about myself, I talk about lessons I learn as I go through life. I teach marketing sometimes. Um, and very notably, I interview um, African founders and operators in my show called Founders Connect. I'm also a teacher, and so I said I sometimes teach, teach marketing, but I also, you know, you know, teach at different places, public speaker. Um, I write sometimes. I've authored a couple of books, so there's still that in my reader um, and a bunch of other things. But yeah, I think we can stick with a marketer, a marketing leader, and a YouTuber, a content creator. Um, and a teacher. Oh, I'm also an angel investor. I do have quite a nice robust portfolio. I mean, a lot of things, guys. I'm just maybe getting my way through life. Let's move on. Um, Gary, that's the most simple, simplest pleasure in my life without 
yeah gary's 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 everything um but what else um i really like being underwater so whenever i swim i it's a it's a place where i have and i have i have an act in my living room of a lady diving us right it's kind of skinny dipping and that's because it reminds me of me underwater it always feels like a very serene like god filled space um, i don't do it often but that's definitely a pleasure that just really you know works my word fifa as well can be a single pleasure but most notably guys let's not overthink it gary you always want to ask me the question just as always want to ask me why i like gary so much i don't know well there's actually a very serious story behind it i guess waiting for it oh hmm. so as a child i had this thing called pika um um it's a what i call it a mental disorder that affects other pregnant women or kids um some people some some people it's like they take ice block um so they eat like a lot of ice block some people it's chalk for me as a child it was kind of anything that had grains including sand um but i did that for a while and just like why do i have an affinity for sand that's kind of probably still why i like the beach because i can touch it i can play with it sometimes it's in my mouth not as an adult but as a child i would put sand in my mouth um but yeah i i, I did totally had it as a child so it kind of followed me into like my teenage years and at some point it just became like why am i why do i put sand in my mouth sometimes so i started looking for alternatives because i learned somewhere that one of the ways to overcome an addiction over something is to get interested in something else not get addicted to something else but kind of use something else to distract you from the addiction that you're trying to get away with so for instance people that want to stop smoking cigarettes for instance can probably use vape first of all before they, that they try something else so kind of that was the theory so i looked for something else and i found that there were two grains in the house it was gary or it was rice and rice figured that oh could give me kidney stones long term so it didn't make sense to try to eat raw um, rice grains so i started trying gary and it kind of worked <laughs> um and i guess that's where i am right now but so that was that was why i started taking gary i don't know if that was a question but i continued over time because i kind of when i stopped like or when it stopped becoming a pika um symptom or a way to overcome that it just became something that i really enjoy like gary just makes sense um and it's carbohydrates if i needed energy quick energy i can't think about something to eat then i'll have it sometimes if i'm in your zone and i want to think gary helps <laughs> um no i just i just eat it for fun um and i like having something very quirky that i can tell people my simple pleasure is gary um sometime when i thought i was getting addicted to it or sometimes if i feel like i've taken it too much into sessions i will just take a break for like a couple of months to tell myself i'm still in control and then when i'm done taking a break i'm like ah, i miss it it's been a couple of months i will just pick it up again um but i've also over time googled all the side effects and possible effects and i'm like you know what i'm pretty good so yeah that's my story gary now i know i just enjoy it it's fun you should try it especially when you miss ijebu gary and yellow gary ha huh. and don't add sugar people say like why don't you add sugar to your gary because that's like why am i adding eating raw sugar just plain ijebu gary yellow gary mix it just a few spoons here and there every day your life will change you'll be much better trust me Oh, so I went to Disneyland in Paris. Two, I've never been to Paris before. Um, I've been to France, but I've never been to Paris. Three, I've never been to Disneyland ever, obviously. I think there are only two, one in Paris and one in the US. So when I was looking for things to do with my solo trip, I realized, oh, there's Disneyland in Paris. And I'm like, I'm gonna go. So I went and there were, I have videos of, <laughs> Um, people there who dress up as, you know, uh, Black Panther, um, Captain America, who dress up as the, yeah, all of the, all of the superheroes anyway, they just dress up and they show their different stone spider, man was in pew pew pew. Um, and then you go into like different, um, different buildings with different things and you just like see stuff. So, you know, that was, was Disneyland and what? disney studio so disneyland has more of these cartoon characters i think so i went to what disney studio that's where i spent most of my time i saw the marvel characters and stuff anyway so when i went to the spider-man path and you know they gave us 3d glasses and we went through this roller coaster and we we're shooting and testing spider-man stuff and it was like a game it was like being in a video game i came out and saw that there was a shop and i'm like hmm 
it would be fun to have a souvenir for myself from Disney. Um, because I was thinking of getting a souvenir for Paris. I decided I'm going to get something in every country that I go to now. When I went to Amsterdam, I got this really nice bike that's on top of my shelf in my living room. So I went to get something like that. But I said, hmm, instead of getting that, why don't I just get something from Disney, from what Disney Studios? So I got this joggers and then I went to get a hoodie. I saw different colors. I saw a red hoodie. I saw a black and gray one. And I was like, gray is boring. And I saw the red one. The red one was really nice. And red is one of my favorite colors. But there was nothing on on out on the front of the hoodie. It was just red with like small thing there. And I saw this yellow one. I have never seen Groot. I don't know what it is. But it was so yellow. And I'm like, I don't have a yellow thing in my wardrobe. So I got it. And the first time I wore it, I was like, oh my god, I'm wearing a yellow hoodie of Groot. And I don't even know what Groot is. But it reminds me of my solo trip in Paris. And it makes me so happy. So that's the story, yeah. <laughs> On flush toilet. <laughs> um, I can't think of anyone. Gary, no, Gary's not a bad habit. What's a bad habit that I have? <sighs> I can start my day without sharing, without eating, and I can go all the way to like 4, 5 p.m. if I remember that I have actual food and shower to take especially on weekends i should actually start my day with it really nice wake up shower eat and every other thing but three out of seven days in a week i just get out of bed and that's it um oh a lot of ways fifa video games and i say fifa because even though i have other video games uh motor combat um, F1, GTA, Spider-Man. FIFA is the one that has really, really caught my attention and has made me like get really interested in like actual football. Um, and I think it made sense because I used to actually play football and I was captain of my football team when I was in secondary school. So it feels like I recumbed the part of my childhood. Anyway, um, but that's one of the things that helps me these days because when I'm playing, it forces me to focus on that and not think about anything else. Otherwise, I would just lose like concentration or just zone out and you know, somebody scoring me goals. So it really helps me to decompress and just like distract myself. Um, another thing is I like to really feel my feelings. So I'm not one of those people who always look for a way to distract. Like most of the time, I would feel it because if I feel it, then I can understand it. And if I can understand it, then I can do whatever I need to take myself out of there. Um, my therapist always says that PC one of the most self-aware people I've ever met because when I come to her, I'm not even coming with like ground zero of the problem. I'm coming with like ground level five because I've already done a lot of work in understanding what all of these things is. I just need like an extra layer of help. So I, I feel it, think about it a lot, understand. Um, I talk about it. So it could be in therapy, it could be some of my closest friends. I would just vent and rant. Um, those are mostly, so everything I do is really inside this house, play video game talk, think, pace, do therapy, sleep sometimes. Um, there's been a few times during the holidays and I was like, I can't get out of bed right now. I'm just feeling weird and I just slept all day. And I wake up and start my day like around 8 p.m. Yeah. That's such a serious question. Oof. I want to skydive at some point in my life. I want to swim in like um, open water swimming. So I want to be able to actually swim in the ocean. I'm still very scared of it. So even though I can actually swim, I've never swam in an ocean without a um, life jacket, right? So that's something I really want to be able to do. I want to be able to be on a boat and I just dive and then I swim and I come back and I go back on the boat. Um, what's something else is on my bucket list? I want to bring my mom to the UK and stay with me for a few weeks. Yeah, so I'm hopeful I'm able to do that soon. One of the many things on the list of things I want to buy. <laughs> uh, well, right now, a wallpaper for this space right now. That's what's one of the things on my mind and buy I want to buy a shoe rack. I have so many shoes and thinking about the perfect shoe rack to buy has been 
freaking me out for the last six weeks. Um, but if I have a thousand pounds, maybe I won't be budget constrained at all, and I'll just get the most exuberant shoe rack on the planet for my almost 20 shoes, and there'll be more this year. That's the point. I'm not going to buy a shoe rack for the amount of shoes I have now. I'm buying a shoe rack for the shoes I'm going to buy. Like, there has to be enough space for like maybe five more this year. So, yes, a wallpaper and a shoe rack. Final question. That's a good one. A lesson from my childhood that still serves me till now. Um, I think really it would be just watching my mom exist. Um, someone was asking me the other day, like, what's something that you picked from your parents? And I said, I think a large part of who I am right now in terms of like hard work and just being ambitious is for my mom and just seeing her work and hustle. More hustle than work, if I'm being honest. But just that spirit that entrepreneurial spirit that spirit of i could we could do anything if we just like set the goals and do the work that we need to do and you would get all the things you need for school no matter how hard i have to work like just work hard to create the life that she wanted for myself and my brother um so that's a lesson that stays with me that if i if i do if i do what i'm supposed to do i could create the life that i want and keep you know doing that so that stays with me. I'm grateful for her. That's it. I hope you guys have learned. At some point, these questions became serious. It was supposed to be simple pleasures. And then Joyce asking me was something. How do you get out of a funk? Like, come on. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed learning a few things about me, especially my names. If you call me anything other than PC Timmy on the street to fight, subscribe to my channel, guys. <laughs> Bye.